Hello, Internet. This is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Um, before I get started, because I always forget to do this until the end, I'm going to do it first this time. This version that I'm working on, that you're looking at, that I'm about to show off, will be available at the end of the month. I'm going to try and get on a monthly schedule of releases, uh, both, I mean, kind of for two reasons. It's really easy for me to just release, you know, it's like, oh, I implemented a, a little thing, I'll release. Um, but it's I don't know that makes a very small update, and I feel like it would be more exciting to have bigger updates with with more stuff in them. So it, it kind of forces me to wait until I've added a lot of things to to make a release, and I I think that'll be more more interesting for people, um, you know, rather than there just being a small update and you're like yeah yeah just like one thing whatever you know who cares it's not worth replaying for you know I'd I'd rather make sure that there is enough new content that it would be it would be interesting, um, so so yes I'm gonna aim for the end of this month and then that's gonna start this monthly. Uh, release schedule and I think I had previously said I was going to restrict myself every month and then I released just a few days ago and I, I really don't remember I, when I did it I realized like wait did I already say I was going to do every month so anyway now I've said it a few times I hope it's it's bored into my brain or or maybe maybe I, I hadn't said that previously I really don't remember this is a com common problem with me is not remembering things um, but anyway I'm going to get on a monthly schedule from here on out uh, the other thing before I really start playing oops where's my Focus here is there is now a full screen setting. Um, I tried to record this this video previously and discovered that going into full screen freaks out the recording software. It does not know what to do, so I'm not going to change it here. But you believe it works. It works. It's awesome. You can also press Alt Enter to change it, which I'm also not going to do because same <laughs> same issue. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, windowed versus full screen, which is awesome. I know that people have been wanting that. Um, I didn't know how hard it was going to be, but I had had some bugs previously that caused the window to be of different sizes and I, th than it was supposed to be, and I noticed that it automatically scaled everything rather than things being clipped. And so that suggested to me that it was going to be pretty easy. Uh, and it turns out that it was. It was it was even easier than I thought. I was like, this is going to be pretty easy, but I'm going to hit some some you know speed bumps or something, hit some little problems. And it just it just worked. It it was like it was so easy. It was ridiculous. So full screen is now available. I did have to do a few little tweaks to make sure that it works with multiplayer, but it works with multiplayer. So that was really the only thing that was more difficult. But I already knew how I was going to solve that in advance. So it really wasn't anything. So yeah, that was really awesome. Um, and, and again, I know that that's a thing people have been working on. It's not a thing that, I don't know, I guess I don't personally care, and it's not that exciting to code compared to, like, tractor beams. So I went ahead and did the, you know, other stuff first. But it's something people have been asking for, and I should have done it sooner. Better late than never, right? So we, we now have the full, full screen uh, capability. And again, works with multiplayer. Uh, it's great. So the other thing I want to show off is these little critters. The ones underground don't... I don't know, it doesn't look as good when they're not running around with plants, so I almost... You know what? Screw those guys. We're going to leave them there. I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Either I need more decorations underground, or I need to not place those little creatures underground. This also happens sometimes where it spawns a whole herd. Uh, I'm calling them herds internally on that little tiny block. But here's some good ones. Uh, and you can already see that they come in different colors, right? So there's these little white ones. There's some yellow ones over there. Here's some more yellow ones. Uh, they also, if I use my tractor beam in their presence, get freaked out and start running. <laughs> And you can see, so the tractor beam was in the last update, um, and it, it it behaves really weirdly when you do it on something that takes up multiple tiles like these trees. That's a little... I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't like it, and then I was like, man, I can't release this. But I was like, you know what, who cares? Let's just release tractor beam. Tractor beam's cool. I can fix up this, sh the, the, this stuff later. Um, I don't know, but then I look at it and I think it's kind of funny, and I almost kind of like it, but maybe if anyone else looked at this, you know, I worry that it's just because I'm used to it, because I coded it, and this happened, and my brain has to say, no, Ben, you like that, because you made it, and it, I don't know, you know, it's, it's those those biases. Um, God, bees, bees, who still don't have buzzing noises when I kill them, maybe I'll try and get that in uh, before the next update as well. Anyway. I had been wanting to add little creatures like this for a while, so here they finally are. The tractor beam was really what made me, I was like, no, I'm doing this now. Uh, because I want, as I, I wrote like this huge post on MysteriousSpace.com, and I, do, I don't even know how many people read about them, but I was kind of talking about some of the design, game design choices and, and thinking that went into the tractor beam and making things jiggle, um, you know, was a, a conscious choice that came out of me thinking about how how the player should interact with the tractor beam. I wanted 
it was because okay so like, here I'll tell you now because I don't even know that anyone reads that and it's not that long I just got wordy on my on my blog post but the problem is is for the first problem is that when you use the tractor beam to pick up crates you might think why not the rocks you know why can't I pick up the big rocks and so for one thing I made all the rocks smaller so you can see that all the rocks they used to take up like a whole tile now I don't they never get higher than half the tile and they're often shorter than that um, but the other thing was that even if the rocks were small, you, you still might think, well, maybe I could pile a bunch of the rocks up if I could just tractor beam them. And the fact that they didn't respond at all previously, you know, without the wiggle, imagine there being no wiggle and you go up to a rock and you activate your tractor beam and it just doesn't move at all, that's kind of frustrating. You're like, man, the game designer, you know, whoever made this game, they, why didn't they even think about this, right? Like, I want to pick up rocks. I want to pick up these rocks and pile them on those buttons. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are buttons that you have to put crates on. I realize that maybe not everyone has experienced that. I showed that off in the previous demo. Anyway, so it's kind of frustrating if you're trying to do something and the game just doesn't acknowledge your attempt at all. So I decided to do this jiggle thing. It's a way for the... Oh, he got confused. I must have crossed the seam of the level. Um, anyway, so I wanted the game to acknowledge that you had tried, but show you, no, it's not going to work. Um, and so that's why I did this jiggle effect. And again, I was initially thinking of it, of it as being for rocks. I made it for everything because I thought, oh, it'll be cool if everything kind of wiggles, forgetting that trees are actually made up of, you know, they're spread across multiple tiles. And it doesn't even have to be that way. I could have made one huge sprite that's drawn, um, but it was just easier to, to break them up into tiles. And so that's what's done. So now we have these trees that jiggle like crazy. Um, Anyway, I wanted, though, once once the uh, rocks were jiggling, I was like, well, that's kind of going to suggest to players that maybe there are other things you can wiggle that will have an effect, you know? I mean, you see this feedback, right? You've got this feedback, so that kind of encourages you to go explore and test everything. It's like, oh, will this wiggle? And you're going to realize, okay, nothing happens when I wiggle trees. Fine, I won't try anymore. Um, but I would like there to be something in the game that has an effect when you wiggle. Um, and it should be an effect that helps you or hurts you in the game. Um, the, you know, making the creatures scatter, that is an effect, but it doesn't do anything. Um, but it's still a fun thing, you know, you're running around and you're, and you're trying out your little, uh, tractor beam, and then all these creatures go, ah, and start running, you're like, ah, look, it's another effect, right? It's something else different. It again encourages you to go in and test your, your tractor beam on other things. And I, again, I felt that was important because currently the tractor beam only actually does one thing, and that is to lift crates to put them on boxes. And I will add... Uh, other things for them to do. I'm going to add alien obelisks that if you tractor beam them, they wiggle and break and an effect will happen. And it's kind of going to be along the same lines of the um, uh, the potions and advanced technologies where it's a random effect discovered uh, you know, through play. And I can't play and talk at the same time. Oh my goodness. Can't play and talk at the same time. Anyway, so tractor beam does stuff. You can't use it while you're disabled. That was a bug you used to be able to. I think I'm just going to get killed right here. No, he missed. Kill me. I really... See, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, man, I... Oh, my weapon has been completely destroyed. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I need a uh, way for you to just kill yourself to game over. Um, but sometimes you end up revived miraculously. But I'm also revived mir miraculously with no weapon. Um, my weapon was destroyed because I took damage so much. Um, technically, you can still win, almost. So... And that's something else I've, I've thought about but I don't have a solution for. I would like for you to still be able to beat a level even if you don't have um, any weapons. Mini bosses are the thing that stop that from happening. Um, you can always tractor beam. Your tractor beam never, never gets broken. So you can always uh, pick up crates and uh, drop them on buttons. So you can, you can get the fuel that are locked behind those. But a fuel that's inside a mini boss, if you have no weapon, you're screwed. And I would kind of like there to be alternative ways to beat bosses. Like maybe if you just tractor beam them, you can you can steal the fuel out of them or something. You know, I could I could make something like that. I think it would be interesting if there if you could go without killing anything, because that also then adds a new challenge that that players can subject themselves to, right? Um, and and then make a whole you know achievement based around um, beating a number of levels without. Um, having fired a single shot, you know, consecutively the whole game, I don't even, it would be really hard, obviously, to do. And speaking of achievements, that is something I want to put into Mysterious Space, um, Steam achievements. They will not be in this month, I am pretty sure. Um, I just have to look at the SDK that, uh, the software developer kit, 
that Steam makes for people to integrate, you know, add achievements, trading cards, all those kinds of things are options. I just have not looked at that at all. Uh, and that isn't going to be as easy as the full screen. Uh, I'm going to have to learn a whole new library and, and, and how it works and everything and start tracking more variables and, you know, in order to count up those achievements for you and everything else. So that's going to be a whole thing that really could be an update in and of itself uh, and would be really cool. I definitely want to do achievements. But anyway, uh, in for next, I really have no plans for this update other than to add as many tractor beam related things as possible. So the fauna, the ghost scattering, I also want to add fish in the, in the water planets. Those aren't there yet in the ocean worlds. Um, I don't have any fish. I would also like to add more types of creatures, you know, varying sizes and shapes and everything. Um, and they'll all just run when you track to be near them. Um, and then also some things that will have more games mechanics-y effects. Um, you know, like the alien obelisks that you can jiggle and destroy with your... Uh, with your tractor beam. And I already have some things in the game that you can jiggle and destroy. The uh, pipes on the mining worlds, there's some like pipes going along the, the ceilings of, of the little buildings. Um, if you jiggle those long enough, they'll fall off. I can show you that. Why, why, why am I talking about it? I can show I can. We'll quit. We'll set the game. Tie this little cheaty thing I've got. Some debugging variables. Uh, and I will show you breaking pipes with the tractor beam. I'll have to center the window properly, or not center, but I don't know. Uh, there we go. Almost pixel per. I really want it to be pixel perfect. It's pixel OCD. All right, uh, mining. Great. So let's see if we can find some pipes that contrast nicely. Sometimes they do not. I have concerns. Uh, it's a bug. It's a bug, and I haven't fixed it yet. That's something else I should look in. I'm pointing now in that direction, and you can't see. Uh, but that's something else I should fix for the next release. Uh, no pipes in this one. There were pipes in that other one. I should have just showed off there, but I was disappointed. So the pipes are kind of hard to see, and that's something I'm going to want to fix up um, because I want you to see that, that you're causing them to break. But look carefully. Okay, you can see they're jiggling, and there goes some. They're, they're falling off. Did you see them fall off? They, they almost get brighter. That's some, something weird about the transparency. I don't know if I'm setting the alpha wrong or what. Um, but anyway, the pipes break off, and then they, like, fade. And here we can see these ones a little better. Ah, e, ah, pipes. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, you can destroy the pipes, which is neat. Um, you know, again, it has no effect, but it is. I'm hoping that that kind of. If if you see that in the game on accident, you've never destroyed anything. You're like, oh, I can even destroy some things with my tractor beam. All these little things to try and train the the player. Look around. Try your tractor beam on stuff it's going to work on some, you know, it has different effects on different things, and, and you just know that somewhere there's going to be something that has a positive effect for you, or maybe a negative one, and so you should not use your tractor beam near it, you know, I mean, both things should certainly be possible. Um, it is a roguelike, learning that something will kill you is, is part of the experience, right? So anyway, yeah, and I'll want, again, I'll make those pipes uh, contrast more, because I, I, I want you to see them uh, when you destroy them. Um, anyway, that is what I have got for this update. Again, will be released in about a week and a half-ish at the end of the month. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't know why it does this to me. This is another, whatever. Anyway, Mysterious Space, <laughs> thank you for watching and playing and, and everything else. And giving feedback. The um, whole rock thing where making the rock smaller, that was all because, like, it was a thing I kind of knew, but then quickly was like, eh, it doesn't matter. And then someone commented on YouTube and was like, well, that's kind of funny. Why can't I go get rocks? And I was like, ah, oh, I thought of that and I knew it and I ignored myself and I'm stupid. And so I'm really glad that that person reminded me. So thank you for the feedback is what I was meaning to say with all that. It is, it is great to hear feedback from you guys. It is very easy to get trapped into my own little, my own little world. You know, I'm just one person working on one thing, it, it never goes well. Uh, for an extended period of time. You, you have to have that outside input, so, so I appreciate that. Um, but yes, so thank you, thank you again, and goodbye. As soon as I can find the stop button. This is going to become a recurring thing, guys, where I'm like, where's that stop button? I'm not prepared. When I'm closing up, I should find this window in advance so that I can say, and goodbye, and just hit stop. It's that forgetfulness thing. <laughs> goodbye.